I want to talk about my buddy McDonato. You're going to probably notice that he's from the New England area. He has a 12-year-old as his producer, who's also on mic quite a bit. If it's a bit, it's brilliant. The McDonato Show starts now. Hey folks, how you doing there? Welcome, welcome, welcome to a very special uh, Easter 2020 episode of the McDonato Show. I'm of course your host, McDonato, uh, down here in my apartment bunker, staying safe, uh, and uh, remote from me. Is my producer and partner in crime, Danny, at his home studio. Say yes. hi, Danny. Hi, I'm Danny, the other guy. Yeah, there he is. Yeah, um, over if and away <laughs> from where he is. Social, social distancing. distancing. And uh, it's crazy uh, this year, right, Danny? Yeah. Um, because uh, Easter, you know, and, and everyone's got to stay home. Uh, but we're bringing you the show. Uh, I got some decorations. Got a little bunny here. He's yeah. got a few. I I got things. yeah. I got my own little money and yeah. Egg so thing. Uh, keeping the the spirit alive. So I'll say Happy Easter. And I think you say Danny Happy Passover. Is it Happy Passover? I don't know for the Jewish people. Merry Passover. Merry. I don't know. Whatever it is. Uh, God bless you. Um, and Happy uh, all holidays at this yeah. time of year. Hope you're all uh, safe. And enjoy time with the family. Um, Got lots to do. Uh, we have a huge oh, wait. show planned. I just touched my face. Uh, that's all right. You're probably going to die of corona. But yeah, okay. uh, nevertheless, uh, just rub some uh, you know, hand sanitizer right. on it. But uh, again, lots to do. Um, we have a big show planned. But before we get into that, Danny, I always like to start by giving thanks to all those brave men and women out there. Yes, especially safe, right? around these times. Yeah, these times especially. That is uh, fire, fire, hazmat. hazmat. Law, Law enforcement, enforcement. Uh, narcotics, narcotics. That fentanyl, off, fentanyl the street. off the street, military, off military, Navy, Army, Navy, Marines, Air Force, Coast Guard. Yeah, Coast Guard, not part of the military, unless it's time of war, but nevertheless, we love them. Yes. Of course, Border Patrol. Border Patrol. Build that wall, keep those illegals um, where they belong, and especially at this time, the, uh, the CDC, right? Oh, yeah, the CDC yeah. and the FBI and the CIA. All those three-letter agencies. So, thank you so much for what you do, and uh, again, those yeah. folks... They don't get to work from home. E-A-S-T-E-R. Yeah. So, let's get into the show, Danny. Um, of course, uh, in the interest of social distancing, I cannot uh, get with my family. That's yeah. just kind of how it is. None of us can. Actually, my so, family is doing something pretty cool. Yeah? We're going to have, like, a conference call with, like, just family members for Easter. Yeah. Uh, we're doing the same thing. Actually, oh, my dad, neat. Mark, gave me the idea. Um, and apparently, um, my family thinks I'm the IT expert because I do the show. It's yeah. all Danny, though. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, I but, learned uh, most of what I know from my dad, though. Yeah, he's pretty smart. But I tell you who's doing it for me. My family, it's, it's my oldest son, Liam. <sighs> yeah, he, he knows all this stuff. So he's setting it up. Um, and again, just trying to get links out to the family. Uh, you know, do this, do that. Here's the thing. My dad, my dad's in his late 70s. And oh. he, he's figured it out. He knows what to do. He's like, I'll be ready. I'll dial in it. You know, I think it's one o'clock. We're doing it. Um, but my uh, one sister, I have two sisters. They're both older than, than I am, but one who's sort of the middle one. She has no clue. <sighs> no clue what she's doing. Um, she's like, uh, do I have to create an account? It's going to cost me money. Do I have to make a password? Uh, it's crazy. We're using Zoom. You know about Zoom? Oh, day? yeah. We have to use that for the online classes mm. at my school. Yeah. So that's what we're doing. Um, but it's just it's just nuts. Uh, but uh, thanks to Liam, he's getting it set up. That's what we're going to do. Um, I'll be uh, at my apartment in the bunker. Uh, the kids will be with the mom. Um, of course, my dad uh, down at Fall River. And uh, we'll just do it uh, remotely. I'll probably have a ham and cheese sandwich. That's going to be my Easter meal. What about you, Danny? Oh, um. What do you like for Easter meal? I like eating corn and mashed potatoes Ooh. all put together into like a 
a big mush, big and mush. it's really tasty. Well, unfortunately, but we won't get that. Uh, maybe not. This so year. I'll just probably just have a pop tart or something. Yeah, that's that's what it is. Uh, maybe next year we'll be back to normal. But here's the the big thing about the whole Zoom I was talking about. Again, my my older sister, she's fine. She, no worry. But this other sister, she's like, I hear about the uh, hackers coming in and uh, you know hacking into your your video thing and uh, showing porn. Um. I, you hear about that? Yeah, no, I haven't heard about that. I'm pretty sure the only way you could yeah. do that is if someone sent out the link for some reason. Well, I don't know, but I'm or, not worried. She is, uh, but here's what I say. Let's just say we're all in the, the video, uh, just having a nice talk, and then all of a sudden someone pops up, big old gaping porn video. Should make for an interesting Easter. I, yeah, I, I guess it would make it not interesting. I'd like it, but <laughs> that's for sure. <laughs> Something to remember. I f- no, but really, I don't. I think that would only be possible with like government level. Yeah, yeah. Again, Liam, he, he's setting all the security. It'll be fine. But uh, you know, get some porn. <laughs> Something to talk about. Uh, speaking of porn, Danny, uh, I saw this article. <sighs> uh, I saw it on Facebook, and I wanted to bring this up because this is uh, disturbing, yet uh, quite. Hilarious. So if you can uh, get that link and bring it up. Uh, right. Apparently, uh, this woman. Uh, uh, you got it there, Danny? Yeah. All right. Uh, right. There it is. All right. Florida woman, of course. Florida. That's always Florida. Charged with putting porn in Easter eggs. What? Right. Wait, so like, how would that, would she down, just Danny. get like a little cutout and like slide it just in? scroll down, Danny. Okay. The picture. Right. Uh, 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 no, up, up, uh, right there. Uh, Flagler County, uh, Easter eggs generally make people smile. That's true. Got some Easter eggs right here. Great. Yeah. Uh, one floor of the That's neighborhood. Some silly faces on them. Bad batch shocked neighbors. <gasps> a woman is behind bars after she is accused of putting explicit content in those Easter eggs. What, what was she thinking, Dan? I don't know. I mean, how could you put porn into a little egg? Let's scroll down and see. Uh, I like my uh, theory. Arrested 42 year old, blah, blah, blah. Uh, deputy said she put pornographic images, uh, drove around town, placed them in the people's mailboxes. Uh, uh, one homeowner found a fish cracker. Fish cracker? What? What's How a fish that? cracker? She did toilet paper. Is that paper, like a porn term? Mix and crumpled up piece of paper containing pornographic. Oh, I guess she took a piece oh. of paper and like had a image of uh, some you know, big John crumpled Slate or something. It, up. <clears throat> I, it would have been... Scroll down, Danny. Kind of cool if she like rolled it up into a neat little slit. But okay. Yeah, you can see the little picture. Uh, go down, 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 down. Uh, right there. Uh, team did a great job. Thankfully, she did not appear to be sick with COVID nineteen. Of course, that's the whole thing, right? <laughs> yeah. No matter who you are, if you're not sick. But she certainly needs some help. I would say, right, Danny? <laughs> she may not have the COVID. You know, I. But she's got something else going on. In this one, it looks like that. It's a candy. So did she, would she put it inside a candy wrapper? And so uh, it'll scroll look down there. See what else. Uh, no, up, up, up. No, that's uh, oh, okay. Uh, faces charges, uh, driving without a license. Oh, no. Violating an executive order banning non-essential travel during a state. Oh, jeez. All right, take it down. Take it down. Oh, wow. Okay. So uh, this woman's a nut. That's one way to celebrate Easter. I guess. Uh, not how we will be doing it, right, Danny? Definitely not. So, um, speaking of, um, I guess I'll say sexual misconduct. Uh, uh. And bear with me, folks. Um, Louis C.K. Um, as you uh, know, if you're my fans, uh, I'm a big fan of stand-up comedy. Uh, Louis C.K. is one of the funniest comics out there. He's fantastic. Now, a couple of years ago, he got in some Dutch because uh, he was um, doing some stuff he shouldn't have done with some women in a hotel room. It's kind of controversial, but whatever. Bottom line is, he basically has been uh, banished from the stand-up community uh, you know, as part of the Me Too thing and all that. So, But, you know, he's kind of made his mea culpa and said, uh, look, I'll go away for a bit uh, and, and do some stuff. Here's the thing. He came out just recently with a brand new special. Uh, and again, he, he's been behaving. Apparently been writing a lot. And this special is fantastic. And what he did is he produced it all on his own. Uh, all on his own money. It's on louisck.com. It's called uh, Seriously. 
And this is not for you, Danny. Uh, it's, you know, it's, it's, it's little uh, older folks, but it's fantastic. And so I watched that last night. And here's the thing. It's only $7.99. You go to louisck.com, uh, pretty much eight bucks. You download it. You can watch it. It's an hour. And it's the funniest stuff. And Danny, I wanted to play a clip. Uh, so I sent you a link. Uh, All right. This is, uh, he's brutal. He doesn't pull punches. He's unapologetic. In this clip, he starts talking about the Danny? What is that? You hearing that? Wait. Yeah, wait. Something's like coming what? to your mic. What is that? I, Danny, what? What's on the computer? Um. What? It's, I can't, I can't load up the, the link. Is it locked up? I guess. I mean, it's like, it's just not. Oh, wait, wait. What? what? There we are. I've never oh. experienced this kind of problem. Oh, my goodness. It's, uh. What? It's, it's Jesus. <laughs> what? Jesus, uh, wow. Like, um, like, Jesus, Jesus? Jesus, thanks for calling the show. Um, yeah. wasn't expecting this. Um, you know, we hadn't booked you. Uh, but hey, thanks to, for coming on. Great to see you. Um, but I guess the question, Jesus, is, um, uh, uh, what can we do for you? Well, first, hello, my children, especially you, Daniel. But Mick, you shouldn't play that Louis C.K. clip. I mean, why not? Um, uh, look, with all due respect, uh, you know, Jesus, um, I know Louis works blue, right? He, he, he's, uh, he's that kind of comic. Um, but when we play those clips, we always bleep out the bad words, mm-hmm. right, Danny? And look, as I was saying, he was basically banished. From the stand-up scene, uh, but he got back on his feet. You know, he's uh, doing his own thing, uh, produced his own special, using his own money. Uh, and this, I think, Danny, is a, is a question of free speech. It's all about free speech and, you know, not censoring people. You know, if I'm making a mistake uh, in this whole cancel culture, I, I, I frankly don't see the, the problem with it. It's not that, Nick. It's just that Louis owns the rights to that content. Oh. If you play it on your show, it'll be blocked on YouTube. Yeah, uh, okay, I guess you would know. Uh, that makes sense. I get that. Uh, all right, so uh, I guess since you're here, uh, can you stick around? Maybe, uh, you know, talk to us for a bit? Sure, I do have a conference call, but just let me silence my phone. W- wait, you have a smartphone? Oh, oh yes, the iPhone 23Z. It's great, but the world won't see it for a while. How many cameras yeah. does that have? Uh, Wait, what's that, Danny? How many cameras does that have? Oh, uh, it's got seven, all oh. in 8K HD. I can show you yeah. if you want to see how it well, works. That's pretty cool. Yeah. Uh, maybe later. But you said you had to go on a conference call. Um, Well, that's crazy. Uh, just curious. What's what's that all about? Oh, the world will know soon enough. Ooh. All right. Um, all right, fair enough. Uh, we'll keep it at that. Um, but again, since we have you, uh, actually... Um, can I just ask a few questions? Yeah, like you're oh, all knowing, right? Yeah, mm-hmm. exactly. So, uh, all right, here's the first one. So, down here, as you probably know, there's a big debate uh, among Christians about the topic of salvation. Oh, now, yes. the Catholics say uh, you got to have faith, yes. but also do good works. Mm-hmm. Now, others say you can be saved uh, by faith alone. And we just want to know... You just tell us, uh, which is it? That one's easy. For true salvation, you must... Wait, what was that? That's all it oh, takes. Oh. Uh, Jesus, uh, looks like your Wi-Fi is yeah. cutting out of it. Oh, sorry, Nick. After all, I am calling from oh, yeah. heaven. Even we haven't mastered broadband connectivity. When I said, on this rock, I'll build my church, I didn't specify for gigabit per second internet right. speeds. So... All right, fair enough. Um, understood. Um, maybe you just need to reset your modem. Uh, right? I mean, that usually works. Um, anyways, uh, moving on. I know you're busy. Um, I want to ask you about this whole COVID-19 thing. Uh, I'm sure you're aware of it. Um, it's a big pandemic. <clears throat> Down here, the world has basically come to a standstill. I mean, a lot of people getting sick. Right, Danny? A lot of people have unfortunately lost their lives. Uh, we're a Afraid yeah. to go to the grocery store. I mean, uh, tell us, what's your take on it? I am truly saddened. Uh, even I have to wear a mask when I walk among the wait, people. Wait, you have to wear a mask? Why? Well, after all, I am part human. 
and that part doesn't want to get a severe upper respiratory infection. So that makes sense, Dan. Mm-hmm. Is part divine, part human. So uh, okay, got to take care of yourself. Um, yeah, like when he, yeah. like he still bathes, right? Yeah, yeah. So uh, all right, uh, makes sense. But there is a controversy about this whole COVID nineteen and, and where the the virus came from. Now, mm. um, some people say it came from China. Yes. Some people say you know the U.S. government uh, did it. I don't know, but I'm sure you know. You know. Um, can you tell where did this virus come from? My child, yours is not the question from where it came, China, but where you take it. Uh, That's why social distancing is so important. Stay home when you can. And when you go out, stay four cubits away from us. Exactly. And for dad's sake, please wear a mask. Please. Oh, yeah. Got to wear the mask. Got to wear the mask. Um, We know that, right, Danny? Uh, Be careful. And that's great advice. Um, And really, that's what uh, leaders... And the scientists have been telling us, and we try to follow it. Um, and on that note, actually, I'm wondering, I'm sure you watch the news. I don't know how you get it, but oh, yeah. what's your take on how uh, our president, uh, Mr. Trump, and his, uh, you know, his task force uh, is handling this whole thing? Mick, this is a family show, so I'd really rather not get into that here. All right. Uh, I get that. I get that. Uh, but look, can you at least tell us? Uh, when is this thing going to come to an end? I mean, we're going crazy down here. Absolutely. This will all come to an end. Uh, it happened again. Oh, the what? world will be restored. That Wi-Fi again. Um, and for some reason, mm-hmm. it always happens at the most important parts. Yeah, like what? For some What's reason. that? Don't know. Um, but I guess what you're saying, uh, Lord, is that eventually... We can all get together again, right? And life's going to be back to normal. Yes, my son. This too shall pass. Uh, that is uh, good to hear. And I guess uh, we can all take solace, you know, in the fact that at least us Christians, right, we can talk to you. Oh, yes. Um, you know, through prayer. And I was just wondering, gee, I've always wondered this. Do you actually hear everyone, you know, uh, when they talk? There's probably a million people talking to you at once. Uh, how's that work? Certainly, my child. In fact, I hear you call my name many times a day when you're on the job site. Not in the context I'd appreciate, however. And Mick, I don't have a middle name, but if I did, it wouldn't be that one. Uh, yeah, I'm sorry about that. Uh, you forgive me. Yeah. Lord, yeah uh, let's move on. I'm sorry. Um, look, geez, I need a busy guy. If you have time. We like to do something with all our guests. Mm-hmm. All right. And uh Danny, you know what it is? Oh, wait, we like to the... play What's Your okay. Favorite Sandwich? Oh, oh yes. Right. Yeah. So, uh Danny, go ahead and uh, get ready there. And now it's time for What's Your Favorite Sandwich? With your host, Mick Donato. Here's the thing, uh Lord, if you don't know how it works. So... What's going to happen is, um, I want you to think of your favorite sandwich, mm-hmm. right? And Danny has to guess it. All right. right. Um, and then he's going to draw it, most likely. Oh, and yeah. then if he gets it right, you win. Yeah. Make sense? He's quite good. Um, how's it going, Danny? Um, okay, I think I. It's like, this is harder than usual because he yeah. probably knows about many more future sandwiches than I know about now. I know everything in your precious yeah, mind, yeah. Danny. Yeah, he yeah, actually knows oh everything in your head, Danny. Oh, wait. So yeah. we could cheat this. Yeah. Technically. So, um, all right. Uh, anyway, as Danny's doing that, I have to say that what's your favorite sandwich? Brought to you by our great sponsor, Sandwich For You. Go to sandwichforyou.com, especially this day and age. Go to the restaurant, store, and uh, you order your favorite sandwich. They have like 40 plus gourmet things on the menu quite good and then what happens is they deliver it straight to your door mm-hmm. uh by drone yeah. in the patented sandy wrap packaging hot and fresh it's fantastic yeah and so uh great sponsor sandwich for you.com yeah, great. and check them out so danny how's it going 
Um, I'm almost done here. Almost done. Right. This one didn't actually take too long to draw, but I'm not really putting right. too much effort into it. So again, thanks for, for coming on. Um, so, are you ready? Uh, okay, yeah. All right. So, wait, begin. All right. So, here we go. Jesus of Nazareth, risen Savior. I am. What is your favorite sandwich? Fresh fish on unleavened bread with olive oil. All right, Danny, what'd you say? No way. What'd you say? I, that's almost exactly what I said. So I thought yeah. of like the Eucharist and like the, yeah. how he cut up the bread and stuff. So I had like a piece of bread and then yeah. a fish on top of it. And then this, I drew some squiggly lines. Is that supposed to be like wine? Because you know, like the blood. Yeah. But he didn't have wine, but he said olive oil, so it's oh, close yeah. enough. Exactly. You win. Yeah. You win. Um, Bless you, Dan. Wow, didn't see that one Maybe, uh, I don't know how we do it. Maybe we can send him a Mick Donato show hat. Oh. I should yeah. wear hats, but. Um, sure. All right. <laughs> Jesus, I, I, I know uh, we got to wrap up. Very busy, especially yeah. uh, this weekend. Big question. Big question we all want to know. So, well, I got gotcha. you. Just got to ask. For everyone on earth, especially all my fans, can you tell us what is the meaning of life? Oh, oh certainly, my child. It's really quite simple. The meaning of life oh. unto others. Again? Oh. With a connection? Of uh, what you can. To what? Danny, oh, what? glory. That's I'm... really all it is. Uh, oh. Well, I, I, I'll, I'll tell you, sir. Um, this connection thing is kind of getting weird, but this is really important. I mean, uh, I know you're busy. Please, could you please repeat that? Yeah, come just like Sorry, man. go uh, yeah. move around. I really need to go. Uh, I'm I really, know. Really busy. Yeah, you got a lot to do. Um, I guess I'll just say uh, thanks for joining us. This has been uh, very special. Um, yeah. Before you go, uh, anything to, to meet you? Anything to plug? Actually, yes. Next week, I'm appearing on a potato chip oh. in Ecuador, but right. most everything else is canceled. You know, yeah, social, social distancing. distancing. Yeah, yeah. Yep. yeah, I get it. Uh, well, anyway, uh, thank you so much for calling for your time. My pleasure. Have a, a great uh, Easter, and uh, I guess we'll uh, see you soon. Yes, Nick. I'll see you very soon. Wait, wait, what? Wait, <laughs> um, Danny. Mick? Is he? I. Did, I. Did you get him back? Um. Danny. He, no, he just, he went offline. Oh, jeez. He's totally offline. I really hope that was a joke. Yeah, I don't know. He does show up. Hope he's wearing a mask. Uh, well, it wouldn't matter because... Well, that he... was crazy, huh, Danny? Yeah. Uh, was not um, expecting that. I, um, wow. I guess we have to be more careful about the clips we want to play. Mm. You know? Um, but they say, you know, the Lord works mysterious ways right yeah if uh, we hadn't tried to play that clip never would have got to talk to him unfortunately didn't get uh, answers to some of the uh biggest questions yeah, of mankind I don't know what's up with that. uh because of a uh, crappy wi-fi connection hopefully he gets that sorted out yeah he yeah. maybe he could have just like walked around try to find a yeah. better signal maybe uh, I don't know. who knows probably um, very um, traditionalists in heaven, so they, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. I don't, I don't want to make there. assumptions. Though. Yeah, look, uh, bottom line, we didn't get to everything. We had, we had a ton of stuff planned, but I guess we'll have to wait till the next show, Dan. Yeah, because we got to wrap up. Not uh, every day. Got Jesus lots to do. Uh, plugs are on the screen, uh, and of course, uh, I want to say again, Happy Easter, right? Happy Pass. I think it's Happy Passover, whatever it is, um, and whatever you celebrate. Uh, just God bless you. And have a great time uh, remotely from your family. Um, and take care. Um, of course, want to give special thanks to all those emergency responders keeping us safe. Who are they, Danny? Um, fire. Fire. Hazmat. Hazmat. Law, Law enforcement. enforcement. Narcotics. Narcotics. Uh, the, military. The military. Army. Navy. Air Force. Marines. Coast Guard. Coast Guard. Coast Guard. Uh, CDC. CDC. PP. Very important. Dr. Fauci and all of them. PPE. And all the three-letter agencies. Uh, thank you so much for what you do, keeping us safe. And please, please stay safe. Uh, yeah. You know, this weekend especially, but but the whole time you're out there. Um, Danny, any final thoughts? Um, Stay safe. Happy Easter. Um, uh, yeah. Quickly. Um, that's it. That's it. Yep. All right. Uh, folks, thanks so much for watching. 
We'll see you next time. Take care. This has been the Mick Donato Show.